this is a trilobite. It's the first of the insects. I'd hate to see that on my kitchen floor. Yeah, well, you might. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's an old, it's 500 million years old, which puts it right smack dab in the middle of day five. 24-hour uh -huh. day five. Let me make that clear. He's emphasizing it. Okay. Smack dab in the middle. It's the Cambrian explosion. Now, the trilobite is the first of the insects. Along with the trilobite were sponges and mollusks, crabs and, and worms and cordata and etc. All, all the basic body plans. Now this trilobite is not perfect. It's been reconstructed. It was bitten off. Uh -huh. yeah. 500 million years ago, they were mouths. You understand? It was bitten off. Yes. But one of the eyes remains. Yes. Now the eye in this is not a perfect fossil, the perfect ones are in the, in the museums. The perfect fossils, you can actually test the curvature of the multiple lenses of the insect eye. They're optically perfect. Uh -huh. What this means is in the fossil record below this, older than this, earlier than, earlier than that, early, in, early to the beginning of day five, or once on day four and going back to day three where life first appears, are one-celled creatures, bacteria, algae, the stuff that makes water green, protozoans, the things you see in high school under a microscope has a little circle with little hair coming out, it swims across the field. One-celled creatures, and then explodes into life things like this trilobite, with eyes, with jointed limbs, with intestines, with gills. From where? From algae? A sudden jump. From bacteria? <laughs> yeah. If one an explosion, that, that Darwin never thought that this it was even even into the well into the 1900s, 1950s, 1960s. It was thought that okay, we knew about these, but we find other fossils leading up to it earlier. No, what's been found earlier than this remains all the same. One celled life. It's a question that, as I say, the real problem with with evolution is the fossil record. It's not the Bible. The Bible says the following in days five and day six. In the whole six sentences, that's all it gives is six sentences of evolution. First comes aquatic animals, then comes land animals, then comes mammals, then comes people. That's the origin in the, in the Bible. Okay. That's the origin of the fossil, that's the order in the fossil record as well. The difficulty is how you go from one to the other. And randomness doesn't work. Random reactions don't seem possible to have done it. The laws of nature must be somehow, even from a secular point of view, from a secular point of view, the laws of nature have shown life to be channeled, directed. Gerald, do you really believe in your heart of hearts, then, that you have uncovered <laughs> the secret of creation in six days? I, it, to me, it's, all, it was so, it's, it's so obvious. I mean, the, the two views of time, the laws of relativity, if you've worked in physics, it just, I mean, it just leaps out of, off the page at you. But I am pleased about having finally seen how the each day maps. And that, that I bring in the science of God, the, uh, the new book. The next book. That now understanding finally the exact relationship, we can see how long each day is. They're not of equal length. They get exponentially shorter, starting with 8 billion years, 4 billion to 1. The numbers flow exactly from the physics textbooks. They're not my numbers. That's what's so beautiful. And when you look at the biblical description of what the Bible says happens on each day, and you compare it to cosmology, paleontology, the fossil record, finally archaeology, it matches day by day. I'm not bending the data, Zola. I promise you, the match is phenomenal. I don't know if I've discovered something. I think maybe I just put I stumbled onto something. I think you've discovered something people have been thinking about from since the seventh day. When <laughs> 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 what about that? Just that in closing, there is this seventh day. It says God rested. You discussed this word rest in Genesis and the Big Bang. Yeah. God, re God pulls back and allows nature in itself to start operating in a way that we understand it, using our time using our frame reference, when the soul of Adam is created, we now flow with time as we know it, the seventh day is a day as we know it, and God allows man to go forward using his free will, or her free will, and uh, make the choices good or bad. Sometimes they're bad, and sometimes they're good. There's no more six days equals 15 million years, but a day is a day, and a, a month is, is a month, yeah. as we know them. Yeah, and God is still present. You can see that. I mean, Adam and Eve eat from the fruit. They're kicked out of Eden. Cain kills, murders Abel. Cain is, exa, is, is sent away. So God's still active, but allowing man to make his choices. I mean, God could have stopped Cain from killing Abel, yes. but doesn't. Yes. Doesn't. So we, can, we make our choices now. That doesn't mean we're free agents, but we, have, but we do operate now with our, own, with our free will.